How to make mayonnaise. Make your own mayonnaise. It's mostly just eggs and oil, and homemade tastes better than store-bought. You will need two egg yolks, one whole egg, one tablespoon of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, one teaspoon of Dijon or yellow mustard, one half teaspoon of salt, one quarter teaspoon of pepper, one cup of olive oil, not extra virgin, and one cup of canola oil. Optional, a food processor, herbs, spices, horseradish, onions, garlic, capers, and extra lemon juice or cider vinegar. Homemade mayonnaise contains raw egg. Don't leave it at room temperature or you risk a salmonella infection. Step one, put all the ingredients except the oil into a food processor and mix or whisk by hand until creamy. Customize your mayo with fresh herbs, spices, horseradish, onions, garlic, capers, or anything else you'd like. Step two, whisking continuously or with the food processor running, begin incorporating oil, just a few drops or two at a time, waiting 30 seconds after the first couple of additions of oil, then pouring it in a very slow stream. As you get to the end of the oil, check the texture. You may not need to use all the oil. If the mayo is too thick, thin it with a little lemon juice or cider vinegar. Step three, taste the mayo and adjust the seasoning if you need to. Transfer to a covered container and refrigerate. The mayo will stay good for three to five days. Step four, if the mayonnaise begins to separate, which it often does while refrigerated, reconstitute it by putting an egg yolk in a bowl and slowly whisking the broken mayo into the new egg yolk a little at a time. Did you know? Hellman's mayonnaise began as a salad and sandwich dressing made by New York City deli owner Richard Hellman's wife in 1905.